What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on the Madden 16 Ultimate Team and I just completed the Journey 5. Just got 3,000 coins from the Master of Disaster Solo Challenge as well as new 99 overall Clinton Portis. Here he is. I'm sure you guys have seen this card by now but he is a 99 overall of course. 97 speed, 95 agility, 100 acceleration, 100 carry, 95 ball carry, vision, 95 elusiveness, 100 trucking, and 97 juke move. Absolutely monstrous card. And here's the deal, guys. I thought, hey, wouldn't it be a fantastic idea if I saved up all my packs and I did a pack opening, but with a twist? Now, the twist isn't with the pack opening, because I'm going to pull like a golden ticket uh, or something fun like that. Um, here's the twist. You guys by now should know Purple Swordfish, great friend of the channel. Link will be in the description. He did the same thing that I did. So I'm like, hey, why don't we do a team builder challenge? And that's why you guys see that in the um, title is it is a Journey 5 team builder challenge. And we are going to play each other in a separate video from this that will be uploaded to both of our channels. Um, as well as you guys can see what he gets in his packs from the Journey 5. Once again, link in description. Please check that out. Subscribe to him. Wait for that video to come out. And then we're going to play each other. And the loser has to give away a card that he pulled from the pack opening of the other person's choosing. If you guys didn't figure it out already from Team Builder, you can only use the cards that you pull. Clint and Portis, part of the Journey 5, that counts. We're both going to be using him. But now, 8 pack Super Bowl legend topper campus hero elite pack throwback pack two elite journey packs a flashback pack two pro packs a veteran pack an all pro pack an all Madden pack a legends pack a game changer pack and an ultimate legends pack there are gonna be some sick cards flying out I hope those would be the ones that we can use those would be uh, oh, those will be the ones that you guys see in the team builder challenge and in the next video you guys are gonna see the team I end up building but we're gonna start it right off with two pro packs and we're going to go to veteran all pro and then i think we're probably going to open the um elite packs after the all pro and then moving all madden but nap he follows me on twitter really nice guy there new york giant safety so we get k1 short in our first pro pack not the worst could have been much better though obviously now i've never pulled a golden ticket never pulled an ultimate legend I'm thinking that now is my opportunity as we get Keenan Robinson, another Giant, to start off the pack. He was signed to the Giants in free agency, and we get another Giant in Larry Donnell. Very interesting. Very interesting. Could this be a sign? Rondé Barber. Brother Tiki Barber. Giants player. Does that mean I'm going to pull Ultimate Legend Rondé? That's quite a stretch, so probably not. But I suppose there is a potential for that as we start out with a Chris Gragg. Who else is hiding in this pack? Tremon Williams. Okay. So it isn't exactly going the way I would like it to so far. That being said, we just did pro packs. What are those really going to have in them? We just did one veteran pack. Although I've seen some sick, thing, or some sick things out of veteran packs. We've got an 86 overall Charles Johnson. We're getting elites. That's good. We're getting one elite. Um... Charles Johnson, not not the worst pull. He's going to go for like maybe 2k if we're lucky. Moving on to the all pro packs now. Give me something good. I know you don't want to, EA. David Bakhtiari, Adrian Amos. He has an all rookie card out that you could slid me. Bradley Roby. He has a cool um, draft champions card. I'm not sure if I can pull those. I'm like 99% sure that I can't. Actually, I'm like 100% sure you just can't follow the other packs. We get a Danny Woodhead. Position hero, right guard, and Devon House. I wish those collectibles went for something, but they or go for something. They don't, though. Or, no, I wish they went for something. Yeah, they don't. Frustrating. Um, we're going to open the two Elite Journey packs now, and then move back into the packs. Hopefully, they get better. And we get an 85 overall T.Y. Hilton. These are non-auctionable, so we're just hoping for someone that's a high overall. Um, that we could maybe use as a great backup on our team. And I don't really know who that would be. I don't. Um, JJ Watt, maybe? Backup Cam Chancellor would be really cool. 
I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. Just gonna see what we get. And it's an 87 overall Calais Camel, not the left end I was looking for, clearly. Yeah, he's not gonna play. There's just there's just no spot. He'll be a decent backup if I don't decide to quick sell him. And I'm running a bit low on items, so I might have to stop this video um, and then clear that out and then resume. So Calais Camel might be getting quick sold. On to the old Madden pack. So we're starting out with position hero defensive tackle. That one scared me, um, but like realistically, it doesn't go for anything. Probably under uh, under 1k. Matthew Stafford, Roosevelt, Knicks could go for something like two, three k maybe. Blair Walsh will be our um, program player. 97 kick power, 90 kick accuracy. Of course, he did miss that field goal at the end of the game that would have kicked the Vikings into a great position. But sadly. Seahawks took that one for Blair Walsh. Uh, not a bad card, though. And since it's a kicker, it could go for something more than a usual card. 97 kick power is pretty rare. Moving on to our next All Madden pack, hoping for a really awesome program player. Bradley McDougald. Corey Lichtenseeger. Anything special, please. Chris Baker. Team of the Week defensive tackle. Probably in, like, week one or two, I want to say. This was really early. Week four, still very early. Not the worst card though, as we get a Alvin Bud Dupree. Kinda cool. He won't go for much though, none of these guys will. Moving on to the Legends pack though, hoping for something great. I'll tell you, my friend Mark, AKA Planet Crash Bash, AKA MWS now, I'm not sure what he goes by. He's in my sub box. He tells me, be great. You just gotta have good thoughts and you're gonna get good things, and maybe I will. Brandon Williams, Demarcus Ware, Jay Howard, David Amerson. Not being great so far. We did get a Legend badge, which is better than a collectible that does not go for anything, I suppose. My power went out. Okay. Okay, didn't see this one coming. Great. Alright, guys, we're back. Power went out for about 15 minutes or so. I uh, just came back on about five minutes ago or so um, And I just cleared out a little bit of space just in case Am I about to wrap? No, maybe uh. All right, so I also got two badge packs from that so I might as well just open these real quick Just cuz it's like a nice like you guys just saw a clean cut But for me a lot of time has passed. Oh, and we get a gold badge two badge packs I get a lot of gold badges out of that just in case you guys were curious and that's when you get like the bronze and the silver players together um, like 10 of them, I think, and then you get those badge packs. Two badge packs from the bronzes, I get a lot of good stuff from. But anyway, we have our second Legends pack to go here. We had a few elites, I want to say, already. Charles Johnson and the, um, the ones we were guaranteed to get, Philip Rivers, Olivier Vernon, a Legends badge. So Philip Rivers could be our quarterback for the wager against Swordfish, and we get another Bud Dupree. And Tyler Eifert. So the team could look pretty well so far. It could look pretty good pretty well. It could perform pretty well with the players that we have. So we have a Game Changer pack left, an Ultimate Legends pack, and then we have um, Super Bowl Legend Topper Throwback Flashback and the Campus Hero Elite. So I better pull something out of these next two, man. Like, my pack luck has not been amazing so far. As we got a Latavius Murray, Evan Royster. I don't need running backs. I already have Clinton Portis, Vinny Curry, Jordan Hill. 85 overall, more keys, pouncy, so we have our center, for sure. Gold badge, Teddy Bridgewater. Come on, change the game for me. David DeCastro, Danny Lansana. Nothing too special in these packs. They probably turn the pack odds so down, though, when they release Journey 5. Ultimate Legends pack now. Rondé Barber. Please. If I could just scoop your boss edition... Uh, up real quick. That'd be nice. Josh Robinson. We got a 91 overall Hunter Henry. All rookie edition. Pretty nice pull right here. He looks like a damn good card, not gonna lie. We also got an Ultimate Legends badge, so that was probably our shot at the Rondé Barber. If we were gonna, you know, we weren't gonna get him, but that's our Ultimate Legends pack. We got, you know, decently high rated elite for our, our team for the rebuild, or not the rebuild, for the team builder. Now we have our flashback, throwback, Campus Hero Elite, and the Super Bowl Legend Topper. We're going to start off with the Campus Hero Elite. 88 overall, Brandon Spikes. 
88 speed could be a decent user for us, honestly. Yes, I might use her this card. 88 speed is not that bad. It's way higher than I thought Brandon Spikes would ever get. Also, 95 hit power. He's gonna have, like, almost no jumping, probably. Like, I swear, something in the 70s. 78, wow. It's so bad. Could have been worse. Not a bad pull. Now we have a user if we didn't already. And we got Flashback, Throwback, and Super Bowl Legend Topper. I'm gonna venture guesses at all these. In the Throwback Pack, I think I'm gonna get... Uh, Jamal Charles, 94 overall. Flashback Pack, I think I'm gonna get... Um... 91 overall Aaron Ross. I know this like I don't want him, but I think I'm gonna get him and the Super Bowl legend topper I think I'm gonna get 97 Tory Holt Let's start out with a throwback Please something good <laughs> Oh my god 94 overall Jamal Charles. I know it doesn't go for much It really doesn't this is a pretty cool card though could make an excellent combo with um, With Clinton Portis for this game Wow, the calls though. Did someone say green eggs and ham? Because that was easy reads. Next pack that we have the flashback. I said 91 Aaron Ross. I hope it's Andre Johnson though. 92 RG3. This is not bad. It doesn't go for much, I know that. But this is not a bad card to have. Swordfish will not be able to keep RG3 in the pocket. I'm be scrambling so much, or am I? Maybe this is trying to throw you off, Swordfish. You watching this, which I assume you are. So not bad right there. Couldn't get the second call in a row, but now Super Bowl Legend Topper. I have a feeling about Tory Holt. Watch it be like Dante Whitner though. There, I mean, another one that doesn't go for anything. Come on, somebody good though. 95 Malcolm Smith. Talk about a user card. 94 speed at the linebacker position. This is not bad. 93 acceleration, 93 tackle, 97 pursuit, 90 hit power. This is going to be my user card without a doubt. Play him at middle linebacker, maybe Brandon Spikes on the edge. Am I going to play a 4-3 for this? We're going to find out. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but thank you guys for watching the video. I am doing a team builder with this wager against Purple Swordfish. He will be able to choose from any of these cards I just pulled. Maybe he wants Malcolm Smith on his team if he wins. Uh, so go check him out. Link in the, the description. And we're going to be playing in another video. This is going to be called Part 1. Keep on the lookout for Part 2. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.